So they call this thing a travel router, but did you know you can actually use it for traveling? It's possible to turn this GL iNet router into a completely portable wireless hotspot. Put it in a backpack, connect some phones to it, do some parent share, and you get all the benefits of Speedify for the price of GL iNet. And the more phones you connect, the stronger the hotspot gets. All you'll need is some that looks like this, plenty of devices under a hundred dollars that'll work. You need a battery to connect it to, something that looks like this. This was 12 bucks. And you need a smartphone. They can get expensive if you buy them fresh, but chances are you got one. Now, a quick overview of how things look when you'll initially get set up is something that looks like this. Now, this thing does not have Speedify on it right now. I'm going to show you what it looks like just to install it the first time over. And it's the same process you'll use on any Linux device you'll work with. Just go ahead and SSH into the router. In my case, it has an IP address of 192.168.9.1. You can tell this many different ways. Check out our other videos if you want more on this. But we'll just get in there, type in vegetables, which happens to be the password. It'll always be the password. And do a little wget qo https get.speedify.com. And you should always check a script before you run it from the internet. I know this one looks all right because I wrote it. It's going to take some time. Nice. So now that once you have Speedify, you're going to need to set up an account for a router. You can get one at speedify.com. So once you have Speedify installed, the way to refresh Lucy and get Speedify's magic up on the screen is to log out, log back in with our trusty vegetables password. And we should see Speedify up at the top there with the same user interface that you're familiar with on all of your other devices. Once we put up the UI, we'll see two networks here. Our WAN, which is trust your Comcast cable, and our tethered phone, this little USB cable over here. Over to my phone over here. Now we can remove all of these other cables at this point, walk outside, pair and share with another phone, and be totally fine. Cool, so what we've got here is a little GLINet router, and it's got Speedify on it. We've also got a little battery pack right here. This one also very cheap and common. You're going to want maybe three or four amps of output to get something like this, five volts too. Raspberry Pi and a lot of GeoLightNet devices are in the same ballpark. And this, as you can see, is our good old Speedify UI with two connections on it, except you'd be forgiven for thinking that this is the UI running on the phone. It's not. This is the UI running on the router. And this connection over here is not this phone, but rather this phone. Now, right now, I've got this set up as a secondary parent share connection and this tether as also secondary, which means that it'll try to use these about equally in terms of cost. But that phone, which is streaming right now, is also bonding its own cellular connection. So we've got three connections. There's levels to this stuff. So that one is going to balance its connections and bond them however it wants. And once that stuff gets to the router, then the router is going to pick between these two. And if any one of the three fails, we're still going to be good to go. So the final piece for putting this on the road is just to throw it in a backpack. We're going to go up some stairs and onto a roof. And those stairs do not have very good cellular coverage. So we're hoping that one of these three connections is going to get us through the stream. Let's go. Not a lot of speed in here. So what's going on here? So it looks like your phone is preferring your cellular in this moment, just because we're not getting that much traffic. So these guys are just helping out a little bit. Although because we set these both to secondary and it looks like Speedify thinks that they're about just as good as each other, it's using them about equally. In fact, we can see just about how good it thinks these connections are with those stars over there. This is called the mean opinion score. And it's a little bit of math over the latency, the loss, and the jitter on these connections. So one of these connections by itself probably wouldn't be fast enough for a 720p stream. Not even close. And if it fails, you're out of luck. So you really want more than one, at least two. Right now we've got three. So this, 
this isn't just load balancing, right? This is No, there is a distinction. So load balancing and bonding and failover, Speedify does it all. And it load balances things at the packet level. So you might have one connection going up to a server somewhere, for example, Twitch. And if one of those packets fails in one connection, it can just go on over to another device's connection and start using that. But if you're load balancing things on the HTTP level or a higher level up on the stack, then if your connection goes out, everything does. So could this work with more than three phone connections? It can work with as many phones as you have. If you're walking around with your buddies or you're hanging around at a camp somewhere, everyone who has Speedify is on the same router or Wi-Fi network. You can all pair and share your connections together and get the more the better, really. As many phones as you have around, you can use their connections without wires. Let's see how the stream's doing. Not bad. Still live. A little bit of a delay. As you can see, the stream stayed up the whole time. That's it. Uh, like and subscribe if you want any more cool tech tips like this.